cakes, true to their name, mean you dump all the ingredients into a pan, stir it, bake it, and you'll have yourself the perfect cake in no time. I just want to do this for the next five minutes. This is Tinky. She's a food writer at TinkyCooks.com. Also a dancer extraordinaire. You're like a young Barishnikov. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you get that a lot, though. I think she's more like always pimple. telling me, yes. <laughs> Pumpkin dump cake. So it's it's literally that? It's just dumping ingredients? Well, to tell you the truth, it's it's half dump. Because you do have to mix the pumpkin part first. It's kind of like a, a whip and nene, but it's a, a whip and dump <laughs> cake. Something like that. Right? It's a hybrid. Okay. So, I'm in. So we're going to first actually, would you throw some eggs? I mean, not throw the eggs. Dump. Okay, you do it, Ashley. Crack, crack, crack the, the eggs. The, thank you. That's and the here. exact word I was looking for. All right, I can do that. Because we want to mix up the eggs a little. All okay. right. So there's some mixing involved, but that's yeah. To be it's not a big deal. No, it's not. We can handle it, right? I think so. This okay. is basically like an upside down pumpkin pie. Oh. oh. So we're making pumpkin pie filling ish with our eggs and our pumpkin and so forth. Yeah. Hey, and then we're watch gonna, her whip. She's doing a beautiful job. And you know what? We don't care that much. No. So I'm going to pour in the evaporated milk while you're doing that. All right. Sounds good. I didn't mean evaporated. Yes, I did mean evaporated milk. Do we know the difference between evaporated and condensed? This I, is evaporated. I want to know. What's the difference? Okay. Condensed is sweetened. So oh. it's always condensed sweetened milk. That's right. Okay. Whereas evaporated is just, it's, in fact, if you needed a substitute for evaporated milk, you could use cream. It's just thicker milk. Okay. They have evaporated some of the stuff. Uh, Got so it. whereas if you get like 1% or 2% milk, there's a lot of water cut into that. This is taking it all out. Right. I understand. Okay. Okay, so I'm giving you some, er, this is some um, what's that? Dark. Oh. Cinnamon. Cloves. 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 Here comes the cinnamon. All right. Okay. Oh, the whole thing? Yep. Lots I of like cinnamon. cinnamon. Me too. And ginger. Okay. Ooh. Dried ginger. Yes. Mm. You could probably use fresh, but I have beautiful dried ginger. Now okay. some regular sugar? A little sugar. bit of white sugar. Whole thing? Yep. Okay. That's a quarter cup. All right. And a half cup of brown sugar. Yeah, we're just dumping. We're just, uh, yeah. That, that's and what we're, we're doing. And then we're going to mix in the, um, what's that called? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Thank you. Oh, jeez. I don't bake often. This is really <laughs> we can, working we can, my muscles. We can give you a break, honey. <laughs> there you go. There Thanks. we go. Now and it, it, it doesn't look like it's going to mix, but suddenly it will be mixed. All right. Well, you want me to take over? I think we should not use the, should yeah. use the whisk. Watch me, watch me whisk. Um, the, it will actually work with the whisk. At least it did when I made the pre-dump yesterday. All We're right. getting there. I'm just lazy. I just, I'm done Sounds like whisking. a pre-dump. <laughs> <laughs> we've been we've been uh, trying to change the name of dump cake for a while because it's I not feel very, like well, but but that's one you can call pump dump. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> which I really kind of like. Which may, may or may not have made it better. I know we're having a little issue with our whisk. You know what? Close enough. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna call it a. Okay, that's. <laughs> call it a day. Call it here. a dump. Okay. You good? Now it goes into okay. the bottom of a greased 9 by 13 pan, and we try to smooth it out as well as we can. Okay. So this is basically the equivalent of your pumpkin pie filling, and we, we can even right. smooth that out, mix it a little more in the pan as we do that. Yeah, we should. But we're more or less done right now, is that right? There are just two more things to dump on. Really? Okay. Okay, okay golden. Going to clear okay. this out. Here we go. Next is cake mix. Now, to tell you the truth, because I'm like me... I constructed my cake mix. Okay. So I'm, I put together flour and sugar and baking powder and salt. But but I can use a box. You may certainly use a box. This is a large box. Okay. That's the equivalent of what you would get from mail order. Uh, and now, if, if we're looking at like a, a genre of cake, is it a vanilla cake? This is a, a yellow a vanilla cake. Yellow vanilla okay. cake um, mix. Okay. If you wanted to, you could use a spice cake. Get okay. more spices in there. Oh, all right. And but we can DIY spice if we want oh, to. We're not We've mixing this in. I put in a lot more spice in the bottom than the woman who gave me the recipe requested. Okay. So, so don't we want to just smooth out a little, out a little if you can, please? Sure. So here's the story. So that's a lot of cake, which I like because I like to have the contrast of a lot of cake on top with, there's quite a bit of pumpkin. But if you want to use a plain old grocery store cake mix, mm -hmm. yes, that's not as much cake mix. So this is two whole sticks of butter, a cup. All right. If you're using a grocery store cake mix, start with one stick, maybe go to one and a half. You're gonna not, not going to need two sticks. Okay. Nice job, by the way, Ashley. You did a beautiful job, Ashley. Thanks. And then this goes on top. And it makes wow. little pools. And we can spread it out a little, but we don't have to be ultra fussy about it. What's the point of the butter on top? It's just for taste and deliciousness? It makes it crispier and crunchier. And yes, of course, okay. it gives that that buttery flavor. Without a doubt. Which you might like to taste. Yes, so uh, so this, wow. by the way, we toss in the oven for how long and at what temperature? It goes at 350 for Ashley? 50 to 60 minutes. It's going to brown nicely on the top. It's messy. 
I have to warn you, and you want to let it cool before you eat it, because if you don't, um, it'll be more pumpkin pudding, which mm -hmm. I have nothing against. I love pudding. Yes, that's true. And there we have the, the finished is... product right now. Ooh, 